so if I have the phosphorus, it decays. 99% decays. Here's the half-life. I want to know the time it takes for 99% of it to decay. So the nucleus is just decaying naturally through radioactive, radioactive processes. Note in this case, I don't give you molarity. It's going to be totally unnecessary uh, in this type of question. So what you do, uh, and if I don't tell you, you're going to assume a first order rate law. Okay? Almost everything's going to be first order. But often in the question, we'll say first zero, second order, that sort of thing. So you're thinking, okay, hey, look on the back of the test. Here's my first order rate law. Oh, integrated rate law. Let's see what we have. Okay? I want to find time. So this is the one I want. I don't have K. A and A not, uh, not exact, kind of. So, first of all, I have the half-life. And I know that the half-life is the natural log of 2 over K. Or uh, K is natural log of 2 over the half-life. So that's 0 0.693 divided by 14.3 days. Or my k is going to be in units of 1 over days. Okay. That number is the 0 0.0485. Uh, Very typical sort of problem. 